All right, how's it going? Uh, so, uh, this is gonna be the first video uh, in my set of videos to uh, kind of go over the new features of Unreal 426. There's some easy ones right off the bat, like Volumetric Cloud, which is just a thing you can add in now. Uh, so here's a little, you know, we can add clouds like that. It's that easy now, you know, set their different settings. Um, but hey, it's in. Water did not make it into this first preview build, uh, which is what I was going to make a video on, but a lot of things did. I want to take time to look into them and see how they work and function to, before I make a video. Uh, like they have a new enhanced input system that allows you to at runtime change how your inputs are assigned. Uh, based on some data assets. It's actually really nice. Uh, if you watch the little stream video I put up just to have something up, uh, I go over it a little bit in that and we discover how it works. It's pretty easy to set up and seems like something that's really fun. But I wanted to cover this so that we had a short little video. This is going to be a new plugin that is on here. It is called the Actor Palette. Now the cool thing about this Actor Palette is basically we can open any level. Uh, so imagine you are working with your team or you're just working with yourself you're working with lots of assets from asset packs when you get a lot of those packs normally you have like an example map like an uh, asset zoo or uh, just a general asset level uh, where you will have tons of stuff so what we can actually do now is you can just open up this actor palette it will open that map and we can select any of these I'm selecting that with left click right click to deselect but we can just select that Drag it in, select, drag in, uh, and just repeatedly do that. So say we are building and we want to get access to our modular walls. We would just open the level, navigate like normal to our, our walls instead of having to find in the content browser. I feel like this is gonna be a big time save and things like that where it's like, okay, I don't remember the name of, you know, modular wall A, F, underscore, blah, blah, blah. This way you can literally just boop. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to make a short little video and say, hey, I'm gonna be making some more now that we have some new preview builds here and hopefully we can do some fun stuff. I know this was a short little video it was meant to be i basically thought i'd throw this in here too this is the environment light mixer so now we can actually say we start a new level the only thing in our level is nothing uh we can make it where we say hey create a sky atmosphere this is telling us it already has a sky atmospheric light uh but basically it's where we can just see all of our settings in one place we can then change uh, to show us more detail or not. Uh, the one thing I did notice that I wish it showed was it gets rid of whether or not this is set to movable or static. And I realize that's probably not something you would move a lot, but I wish it showed it. And I understand why it doesn't, but it makes it where I would have to find this in the world. And actually that would be something I'd really like is if I could click this button and go to the light source, because uh, that would just be helpful. And I understand I could just come here, uh, not here. I closed the window apparently, but I could come to my details panel and just find it that way. But it would be really nice to be working in here and then actually go in there, select it. Um, but yeah, so it makes it nice where you can just have everything in one spot. Uh, it includes your clouds as well. Um, it would be, be kind of cool if you could just, maybe they have a blank one of this where it just kind of, you can put any asset now that I think of it. That'd be kind of cool too. Um, but yeah, I just want to go over a couple of little things like that, that are just, you know, quick, easy stuff. And then we'll get into the more complex little systems that they've added that have might not have been talked about so much um yeah anyways uh if you like this video uh hit that subscribe button i guess uh <laughs> uh and yeah uh see you guys later